Hello everybody, this is Stimuli from Arizona, currently in El Paso, Texas. What you see in front of you are two pair of each, 9500 I's on the left and 9500 IX's on the right. Uh, you also see some uh, uh, Super Cup mounts. And uh, I was asked to do a test to see if they all show the same frequency when being hit. Well, part of my problem is uh, um, that I am going to be very close to these guys when I hit it. So what I'm going to do is turn the radar uh, gun the opposite direction and let's see what we show. They're all in spec mode right now. Well. One of them was in spec mode. Let me see why. I thought I put it in there. References. Completed. All right, let's do it again. Now this is not really a fair test. Maybe I can jam this into some metal somewhere and bounce a little bit of it in the corner. And the reason why it's not a fair test is because this radar gun is so close, it's going to cause some imaging. You know, I bet you that if I had this in uh, the mode where it would show how many hits you were getting, there would probably be all kinds of shadowing. So don't expect them all to be the same frequency. Uh, if you were probably paying attention, you probably saw it a minute ago. Alright, so there we go. 24-119 Okay, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> that was pretty cool. 24125, 24116, 24119, 24119. And you can see there are some variants in there somewhat. And I you know it kind of gives you an idea that you know what uh, or, or what is it uh, um, escort rep or escort radar was talking about and segmentation and different uh, frequencies so I'm gonna do it one more time this time I'm gonna tell you when I press the button and I'm gonna tell you when I let go of the button I'm also gonna read the frequencies off to you press 24 125, 24116, 24119, and 24123. Now I'm going to release it right now. Alright. As you can see, there's not that much agreement. Now the other thing that's unfair about this test is the fact that they're so close together. This is a very unlikely test. Um, so the oscillators on these things can cause the variances. And the right way to do this would require more people and maybe I'll put another one up there later on. Uh, where we'll have uh, um, basically I'll run down the same road. We'll put this uh, radar gun up on a tripod maybe with some velcro and run by it and see what the differences are. So we're going to do it one more time. Now. Release. That was pretty cool. Alright, and I'm going to do a half second shot. And 
Now I'm going to do less than a half a second shot. This will just be a click. No, uh, no action. No action. No action. Now I'll do a full second. K band. One of them didn't recognize on the full second. Let's let them all clear. Do another full second. And they all recognize. Okay, and I'll do a half a second. Oops, can't do it yet. Wait till everybody's out. Half second. Didn't get it. Oh, we got one on the half second. I'm continually pulling it at a half second. Alright, now I'm going to point the gun right at it and just watch it and see what happens when I do that. 124, I mean 125, 119, 117, 123. See if they change at all. Look at that. Now we got a KA. Another KA. That's about all I can stand. I will do it one more time. As you can tell, I have the auto mute turned off and the auto volume turned off. Do you see this? You can see outside. This is what I'm going to be driving through here in a little bit. This truck is rocking. It'll be an interesting event. All right, this is the last time I want to hear everybody say K band. Is there K-Band in the house? Oh, maybe. I gotta do it once more. Okay, hopefully that was some enjoyment. Definitely overboard from my point of view and probably for most of y'all. Until next time, stay safe, avoid the tickets, and put more radar detectors on the windshield.